Who lets me do YouTube? Seriously, fucking hell. So here I am, just nonchalantly playing The Sims. And I just looked outside of my window. It's fucking snowing. That is like thick boy snow. What the fuck? Look at wow. Jesus Christ. So what do you think of the snow? <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> I think he loves it. Guys, I'm making an egg for my ramen and it broke. Poor thing. My egg is not happy with me. Oopsie daisy. This just looks so warm and inviting. Ignore the salsa dip. Ignore all the shit. Mmm. Yummy. Good afternoon, my friends. How are we? Welcome to the same vlog that you've been watching this whole time because I didn't do anything last week. I'm just in Peterborough's terrain station on my way back to York. My fucking scarf just fell off. Yeah, I came down to see Emma. There's some Charlotte, there's some Tony, and other nice people. I'm sorry that I barely vlogged. I think I only took like one like video last night as well. Here it is.
we've got tickets to see a Star Roses and Oasis tribute band. And then we went out, out. I'm knackered from fucking carrying my suitcase up the ramp. Climbing stairs, the ramp. Oh, I'll see you on the train, I can't be asked. <laughs> How are we? Um, don't mind me eating chicken from the can. It's grown in my tea. Winston had half of it because it was his birthday. It was his birthday today. Just like a chat while my tea is cooking. How cool is my jumper? We got it when we saw Nicky. I just thought I'd come on and do some I feel like I should be sat down. Hang on. There we go. You're in my cupboard. <laughs> Who lets me do YouTube? Seriously. Fucking hell. Wait there. Uh. There we go. Yeah, so you're in my cupboard. This is my washing machine. This is the sink. Now, I just thought I'd come on and just do some fucking real life chats because i know that i've not been vlogging as much i know that i've not been uploading as often as what i'd want to be things have just been shit i say that with a smile on my face because if i don't laugh then i'll cry uh, i didn't ever think that i'd be one of them youtubers that would be like telling you about all of my life problems i'm not gonna you don't need to hear about all of that shit so yeah this the first two months of this year have been rough i'm a big advocate for talking about your feelings and talking about what's bothering you so that's why i'm following suit oh if you can hear the bubbling that's my tea sorry <laughs> Um, yeah, the end of last year was pretty shit because we had a death in the family and it hit me really fucking hard. Then the funeral was towards the end of January and then the week after that I got COVID. So being in isolation hit me, not being able to do all of the things I had planned during that time that I had COVID. Like I was going to go see you while she sleeps. That got me down. Things just aren't good. Oh, I've been on a period this last like week and a half as well. So I wasn't sure if the way that I've been feeling was down to hormones or if it was because I'm genuinely sad but I think I'm just genuinely sad. I'm gonna see how I get on and possibly reach out to a doctor if things get worse. I'll keep you updated. Like, even though I'd never had any issues with my mental health in the past, like, I know that it's good to talk to someone about it. Whether it be someone close to you, someone that... Like, I've been having a few chats with my manager at work about it and she knows how shit things have been. Um, or I don't like dropping all of my emotions and talking about when things are shit to my friends even though I know that that's one of the reasons why they're there I don't know I just think I'll feel more comfortable talking to someone that I don't know someone that can't make a judgment not that there's anything that's happened that there is to judge but <sighs> there's been days where i've come home from like being at the pub or 
being at work where, where my serotonin levels have just dropped. Like, woo -woo, that. So yeah, I just wanted to, not that I owe anyone anything, like any kind of like reason as to why I've not been vlogging, why I've not been uploading, shit like that. I just haven't wanted to, basically. In other news, I said it, mentioned it just then, uh, it's Mr. birthday. He is too. He was born on the 2nd of March, 2020. We adopted him seven months after that. He's so cute and fluffy. He just makes my heart so full. Like, I just want him to know how much I love him and how much of a help he's been especially the last couple of months but i also know that he wants me to know how much he loves me i feel like i'm just rambling now do you want to see what i'm making for tea i do in my fucking tupperware box cupboard and I made too much pasta. Oops a daisy. Fuck! Why am I trying to do two things at once? Also, Emily Moore, uh, you're probably watching this. This fucking tripod that you got me is a 10 out of 10. So yeah, I'm having like a vegetable pasta that I'm gonna put tuna in half of because I'll have the other half for work on my dinner break. With some brown, brown pasta. Which I might have overcooked. Fine. I'll show you my tea when it's done. Look how cute I am. <laughs> Ta-da, this is my tea. It looks shit. But I've got pasta, I've got tuna, I've got peppers, tomatoes, onions, garlic, chili flakes, pasta, salt, pepper and mixed herbs. And now drag race. Yay. Date night with Faye. Say hello. Sup? I'm never doing that ever fucking again. <laughs> it's Friday, Friday. Guess who's getting down on Friday? It's me. Um, I just wanted to round off the vlog. Thank you for watching. Thank you for made it this far. Peace, love, and good vibes to everyone. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye, kisses. That's for you. <laughs>